Hey guys, all right, so today I'm gonna do a quick video that I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, it's really just an update of running certain applications on the Surface Book, uh, like Photoshop and Krita and Manga Studio, and uh, I'm gonna demo uh, Tablet PC Mouse, otherwise known as Tablet Pro. It's an on-screen hotkey application that works the best, and I'll show you how to get that going. Uh, but I wanna make it quick, so let's get into it. Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and start with Krita. <coughs> so when I first got the Surface Book, it worked really well. Um, the canvases, um, touch manipulation, everything, the pen. But then after a uh, update to graphics, it started looking like this. Uh, all black canvas, no pen input. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Go ahead and close Krita. Now, search for the NVIDIA control panel. You have to be docked to do this, obviously, because you can't access the control panel without the NVIDIA card. And I assume this is only available on the models with uh, the NVIDIA graphics. Anyway, go to Program Settings. If Crit isn't already in the list, click Add, find it, add select a program. Now you'd think use global settings would be best, but you have to select high performance NVIDIA and then apply. Let me give that a second. <coughs> Alright, now close that. We will reopen Krita. As you can see, to me, this is the most responsive touch canvas I've used um, for any application, better than even Manga Studio and Photoshop. This is, uh, it does not have rotation, I don't think, no. But um, it's the closest to like an Android or iPad experience, which is great. So I like that. Um, unfortunately, now you're not going to be able to undock because of elevate <coughs> the elevated process. Um, so once you close this, then you will have to, if you, if you reopen it while it's not docked, <clears throat> it's going to do the same thing it did before. See the black canvas. So if you're going to want to use this in tablet mode, you're going to have to have it like this. There you go. Um, and also, some of you may have noticed, uh, I have a screen protector on here. It's a matte screen protector. And it offers some pen texture and it's very uh, it's very clear still it doesn't really take away from the quality of the screen let me undock this um, I love it it's from Photodon I'm not sure if they've released them yet I was kind of test driving it for them um, as you can see the fingerprints of the stock screen as opposed to this it's way less fingerprint prone and it let me see if I can pick up the sound after a bit of a pen texture um, yeah so anyway back on track um, yeah like I said that's not I don't know if it's available yet look for it in the next week or two um, Alright, so next I'm going to show you guys a bit of ZBrush with uh, Tablet PC Mouse, also known as uh, Tablet Pro. Um, Justice with them has been helping me out a lot, so be sure to check out their channel. And if you find this software useful, uh, buy it. It's, I believe $9.99 I bought it. Um, it's the best on-screen hockey application that I've found so far, so let's get into that. Um, open it up.
And this you can undock. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna do it like this. That's on Noah Bradley. That's on Noah Bradley using it like this. And oh, that would've been bad. Seems like a terrible idea. So when I first started using uh, to have a PC mouse, it wasn't working very well. See, so I would try to touch and it would close um, whatever I was trying to do or it wouldn't really respond correctly. So to get this working, for me anyway, I had to open and settings and then switch it to left hand I don't know why but it seems to work I think it has to do with the palm rejection Now the menu doesn't disappear. I, I'm pretty sure it has to do with palm rejection, but <clears throat> uh, yeah. See, and um, the alt key is great for me. It's, I mean, how everybody uses, um, what everybody uses to navigate um, the model, move it around, up and up and down, and then when you release it, it zooms. So, yeah, before that didn't work. Um, before switching it to left hand, it's <clears throat> so there's that. Um, this is a custom uh, ZBrush. Uh, hotkey menu that I made for tablet PC mouse. I'll put the INI file uh, in the description so you guys can go ahead and use that. It's under medium artist pad when you load that in. And I'm not going to do a I'm not going to do a big uh, demo of ZBrush right now. I just kind of wanted to, to show you that this works well. I do feel like this is uh, mobile solution it's <clears throat> efficient enough All right, so let's do a little bit of Photoshop. Um, edit, preferences, performance. Uh, we're using the graphics processor. File, new. Uh, US paper, settings, 300 resolution. This does have uh, the touch manipulation, which works well. And the brush I'm going to use is this one here. It appears to be an airbrush with a 71 pixel size. As you can see, there's quite a bit of lag. I've heard that if you go to preference, performance, and turn off the graphics processor, it helps. So we'll see about that.
Same brush, same size. Same lag. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, keep in mind this is a 300 pixel canvas um, and a pretty uh, straining brush. If you go to something more standard, then it's fine. Like if you're just doing line work, even at 300 resolution, um, it should work fine. Plus, a lot of people digitally don't work in this resolution. Um, and if you turn off the graphics processor, there is no uh, touch manipulation. So let's turn that back on. It doesn't even let you know. Let's uh let's drop the resolution down to 150. <coughs> and as you can see touch manipulation's back and it works quite well. Um where is that brush? Something like this. See, it's, there's slightly less lag <clears throat> at 150 resolution. Um, all in all, I think uh, Photoshop will run fine for line work, uh, stuff like that. Just don't expect too much out of it. There are better options like Manga Studio. That's, that's my favorite, so... Yeah, there you go. Also, um, the tablet PC mouse, tablet pro works with this. But I want to customize it. I will go to the small artist pad and then edit the layout. And for undo, I'm going to make that control alt Z, so it'll be step back for Photoshop instead. <coughs> Save the file, close it. Yeah, see now it's not, now it doesn't just undo, it does an actual step back. So, uh, yeah, there's that. You should, you can customize this for Photoshop. I don't use Photoshop often enough, so I'm not going to really get into that. Maybe I will at some point do one and then upload it. Uh, all right, that's it for now. Hopefully this was helpful, helpful to some of you. Um, I did decide to keep the surface book and let my return window <clears throat> lap so um this is what i'm sticking with for now i, I like it a lot it's really growing on me i am going to be selling my cintiq companion 2 just because i feel like it's not as portable and i see myself using this way more often uh, all right uh like subscribe comment if you have any questions all right enjoy